It's easy to forget in the beautiful isolation of the high country that man is not far away. Below the mountain pastures and the forests and gorges, in the closeness of the foothills, the civilization of man has crept past the flat, open country of the plains to threaten the serenity of the mountains. Not just man, but the animals that man has tamed. <laughs> Just flying, your mighty eminence. Flying as free as can be. It makes me feel so young. <laughs> you were meant to report on any sightings of man, not to go on a joy flight. Ah, your magnificence. Report on man indeed. No man in sight, mighty Brolga. Well, not in the high country, anyway. They are too preoccupied racing horses. And fast they were, too. Especially a young black colt called Ebony. The fastest horse I've ever seen. Well, except for that young troublemaker, Thara. What? Oh, except for you, that is, sire. But Ebony did brag that no horse could possibly be his equal. Not even the mighty Brolga, he said. <laughs> he can count himself lucky. He's not up here in the high country. at the stockman's race this morning. Well, I'm pretty fast, you see. The fastest, actually. It's my breeding. Big, well-proportioned body. Strong legs. Bet you're not as fast as Thaura. Who's this Thaura? Just the fastest and smartest horse in the whole of the high country. That's all. This Thaura couldn't be faster than me, though. Much faster, I reckon. Impossible. No, it's not. He's like magic. He runs like the wind. Not even the powerful Broger can catch him. Neither of them could possibly be as fast as me. I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. <coughs> I saw you run today, and I believe you can beat Thara. But alas, we'll never know. What with you down here and him up there? Well, I'll just have to go up to the high country. I'll simply challenge him to a race. I wouldn't do anything rash if I were you. <laughs> do you want it to be known that you are the fastest horse? Or what? I am the fastest. Not until you've beaten Thaura, you're not. <laughs> I've got 
got some news that I'm sure to interest you. A challenge has been sent out to you by Ebony, the black racehorse. Oh, a tame horse challenging Sauron? He can't be serious. He definitely is. In fact, he's on his way right now. How will he ever find his way up here? He lost as soon as he got 100 metres from his paddock. The Karawong helped him escape. And he's guiding him up into the high country. Hmm. <laughs> Not too much further now, my fleet for a trend. Follow me. Up and onwards. <laughs> It's only you. You scared me. I heard from the whipper that Ebony, the racehorse, got away from his paddock and is headed up here. You've heard true, but I hear he's lost. Lost? Well, I've got to find him, help him. I hear he's magnificent and fast and that he can beat Thaura. Oh, so that's it. I should have known. How can he be lost? Well, he was being guided by the Karawong, but they became separated. Mm. Well, sounds like you'll need my help. See ya. Oh, excuse me, bird. Oh, a bird I am and a bird I'll be. But that's not the way you should address me. Mopoke, Mopoke. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mopoke. I'm trying to find Thaura. I'm Ebony, the swiftest horse alive. Uh, Can you point me in the right direction? If Thaura wants to be found, in your path he will surely bound. Mopoke. Ebony! Up here! Up here! Huh? Where is he? Where is he? He can't have gone too far. Ah! <laughs> what? Arrow as well? Why is that numbskull with him? I know exactly where he is. I've heard that he is fast. But he can't possibly be as fast as me. Fast? <laughs> He's not fast. He's just a show-off. You'll beat him for sure. Interfering fool. <laughs> oh, sorry to startle you. Mm, yes, yeah, sorry to scare. Just heard a noise. And, and there you were. I'd like to introduce my new friend, Ebony. Fastest horse in the world. Oh, I say, pleasure to make your acquaintance. Mm, yes, a pleasure indeed. Very pleased to meet you, too. I rescued him, you know. Lost he was, lost and friendless when I... What a journey! Came... You should have seen how I escaped. When my owner was... Lost! Yeah, that's right, but thanks to me... He... Zip! Right over the fence. They thought I couldn't do it, but never underestimate a horse of my breeding. When I... Hey, I saved you. And I'm guiding you because I know the high country and you... Don't. Wise Arrow. Mm, wise and brave Arrow. Wise, brave and knowledgeable Arrow will look after you. <laughs> A 
That's strange, Echo. That black colt's no Brumby. Looks like Bluey Smith's racehorse who won yesterday's cup. Come on, let's get a closer look. How much further? Not far, just... Yeah! Oh no! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Hi, Benny. What's up? It's Arrow. He's in trouble again. Oh, no. What now? This time he has the man on his tail. <laughs> it's not funny, Thara. <laughs> Arrow's not alone. Ebony the racehorse is with him. Yeah! Got him now, Echo. What's going on, Karawong? What's all the fuss about? It's Thaura, your mighty eminence. He's brought the man into our... Uh, oh, uh, I mean, your territory. <laughs> Check which way they're heading, Karawong. Then report back to me. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, sire. <laughs> they don't call him Bralga the Bully for nothing. Uh, damn that horse! It's okay. I lost the man. Are you all right? Yes. Um. Yes, I I'm fine. I guess you must be Thara. Yes, I am. And you must be Ebony, the racehorse. That's right. Uh, thanks for leading the man away. You uh, put yourself in danger. Oh, that's okay. Actually, I, I quite enjoyed it. Brolga's spy. We better get out of here. The Brolga will be furious knowing we're in his territory. We'll have to move quickly. Quickly? I'll have you know that I'm the fastest. Yes. It doesn't matter. After you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well? He managed to escape the man again, Your Magnificence. One day he won't be so lucky. But he's still in your territory, master. Whoa. 
What? A mere brindle gap. A frolicking, carefree, with a black cult from the 40s. <laughs> oh. So slow, not used to the uneven ground. I'll teach you to be more respectful. Quick, follow me. <laughs> uh, is this a result of your meddling arrow? I don't know what you mean, Benny. Thower is always getting himself into trouble. Come on, Ebony, keep up! I can't, Thower. The ground's too rough. Follow me, Ebony. will come. <laughs> you sure showed them who's boss, mighty Brolga. <laughs> they won't come back to your territory in a hurry. Oh, marvellous, magnificent. <laughs> Is it the Brolga? Is he still after us? Maybe we should move faster. Don't worry, it's not the Brolga. It's only Storm. He's probably wondering where we are. We're well clear of the Brolga's territory now. We're quite safe. Just a little further and we can join my friends up at the Ram's Head. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Benny. Hi, Boon Boon. I'm concerned about Thara. I wouldn't be if I were you. I'm sure he's fine. Thara does have a way of looking after himself. I guess I wouldn't be so worried if he was on his own. That racehorse may be fast, but he doesn't know the high country and he'll slow Thara down. See? Safe and sound. What did I tell you? Good on you, Thara. <laughs> A cosy little bunch, I must say. Moke, 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 moke. 
Oh, arrow, arrow, hiding here beneath this tree. Embarrassed you are and shamed you'll be. <laughs> be quiet, Mopoke. Thara is the fastest horse. Everyone knows, except you, of course. What? Thara is not the fastest. They didn't even race. Ebony could beat him. The racehorse is fast, I cannot deny. But to say he's the fastest is just short of a lie. I told you they didn't even race. Running for their lives was a race indeed. And it proved that Thara has the greatest speed. Bah, that's the greatest rubbish I've ever heard. And I've had enough, you stupid bird. Oh, Arrow, as a poet, you've got no hope. Because at heart, you're just a dope. <laughs> well, you've had quite an adventure. And you're lucky it didn't end in disaster. Yes, thanks to Thara. I feel stupid. I should never have come up here. I thought I had to prove I was better than Thara. But I'm not. You're a fine horse. Great speed. A bit too much vanity, but that'll go as you get older. Be best at what you do best. Don't try to be something you're not. Make sense? <laughs> That's getting late. I suggest you spend the night up here where it's safe and you can rest. In the morning, I can lead you back down to the foothills. Back to the safety of your paddock and the men who appreciate you and look after you. That's where you belong. You're right, Benny. I'm not used to this way of life. My ways are quite different to yours. And Thara? I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Oh, that's OK, Ebony. It was actually a lot of fun. Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, well, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> So Ebony returned to his own territory a little less cocky and a bit more humble than when he had left. And Thara had a lot to think about after his adventure about the influence of man on one of his own kind, which was just as well, as man is full of tricks, and Thara was soon to find himself facing another, Thara's greatest temptation yet. birth of spring had brought with it the first real sign of danger to the high country, the first Brumby hunt. Charlie attempted to warn the Brumbies, but it was Arrow's timely re-arrival to the high country that accidentally saved the day. After that initial excitement, things had settled down. It was a time of growth and the renewing of life. And Charlie's experience had brought about a deeper understanding between himself and his father. Fine day. 
way for a stroll, Mew. Oh, most absolutely and categorically, eh? Very fine indeed. Oh! Oh! Hmm. Only room for one at a time, Mew. Oh, ladies first, eh? After you. Thanks, Mew. You're a real gentleman, as always. Wombat coming through. Out of the way. Uh-oh! Come on, you two scatterbrains. Back up. Back up. Emus can't walk backwards. Yep! You'll have to back up, Wombat. Are you kidding? Hands up anyone who's ever seen a Wombat walking backwards. Hands up? But emus don't have hands, Wombat. We just have legs. Oh, long legs for running very fast. We're the fastest. <laughs> Oh, all right then. Legs up, anyone who's seen a wombat walking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> They're right. They are fast. Hey! Oh. What are you two think you're doing? Not trying flying again, are you? <laughs> Why? That looks like... It does, doesn't it? But I don't see how. Oh, nor do I, but it couldn't be. Anyone else? But it couldn't be, could it? Very brave Arrow, who went down south and hasn't been seen for a long time and... And shouldn't be here by rights because he's supposed to be down south, but isn't. The same. Oh, Arrow, brave Arrow. Oh, welcome, brave Arrow. Yes, it's good to be back. So many of my friends have been so kind in their welcome and so keen to hear my stories of great adventures and heroic deeds. <clears throat> so keen to hear my stories of great adventures and heroic deeds. Oh, yes. I indubitably. Tell us of your adventures. Oh, tell us of your great deeds. We're, We're most, most anxious, anxious to, to know. know. Aren't we, Mew? Oh, we certainly are, eh? Oh, well, where to begin? I think it's best if I tell you about the time I saved a beautiful young filly from this cruel, mean stallion. I wonder if he's telling them the same stories he told us. I doubt it. The stories seem to change and get grander with each telling. <laughs> and the truth drifts further away. Let him have his moment, you two. We may never know the truth of what really happened, but Arrow does. Let him sort it out for himself. I don't think things went well for him down south. Nor do I. But it's up to Arrow to tell us when he's ready. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but it's uh, nice to have him back. It is. And nice to see he hasn't changed. Nice? Well... Maybe it would be nicer if he changed a bit. I'm inclined to agree with Benny. All right, you two. I'm convinced. Hey, what do you think you're doing, Echidna, you moth-eaten excuse for a pincushion? Oh, you should have seen me. <laughs> <laughs> Wombat, you've been kicking up even more fuss than Arrow did when he took off to who knows where. <clears throat> Arrow? Just so happens that we Wombats are much more sensitive souls than you hard-hided Brumbies. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> At least you're doing better than the emus. I'd better see if I can help. <laughs> Stop running, you've nothing to gain. That's no way to stop the pain. Oh, help! It hurts, it hurts! E! Oh, get him out! Down! <laughs> oh! Out! Oh. Oh. There we are. 
nothing to it. Echidnas are normally such gentle things, but he's caused so many painful stings. <laughs> That's the way Mighty Brolga breathe the fresh air. Stretch those mighty limbs. Show everyone you're as fast as you ever were. Karawong, uh, go ahead and find out what's happened to Arrow. That Dolt's never run so fast in his life. Aye, aye, El Supremo. Oh! Help! <gasps> Whoops! <laughs> Clumsy sod. Now, what have we got here? Ah! ah go on! Quick! Pull those quills out! Mm. I might think about it. Think about it? You've never felt the pain of being turned into a pincushion, Karawong? I want them out now! Hmm. Very well, Arrow. But just remember, this is one you owe me. Understood? <laughs> All right. Yes, understood. <laughs> now get to it! Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> Much better. Oh, there you go, Charlie. Check out those bits. It was around here that a mate of mine once discovered a large nugget. It's been sitting there for thousands of years, waiting for him to come along and pick it up. Hmm. No such luck this time, Grandad. Nothing here but solid rock. <laughs> yeah, the vast majority of them are like that, Charlie. That's why gold's worth so much. Very rare. Grandad, exactly how much gold have you discovered over the years? Mm, not that much, I'm afraid. I've only found small amounts. Never struck it rich. I guess we'll just have to keep on looking. Huh. Looks like we're not the only ones exploring. Getting a bit late. Come on, Charlie. We'll come back tomorrow, eh? Great. And we were wondering, Mr Echidna... Yes, wondering. Do you realise how much pain can be caused by those things on your back? Did he say anything? Uh, not that I heard. Perhaps we missed it. Oh, perhaps we did. But then we've missed everything he said. Uh, if he said anything at all. Indeed, if he'd said anything at all. Hey, where are we, eh? I have no idea, Mew. Mm, nor I, but I think it's too late to go back. Wherever that is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Wombat, are you at home? Wombat, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's all the fuss? Who wants something done now? Absolutely nobody. I just wanted to know how you were feeling today. After the echidna business, I mean. I was doing all right. Till you woke me up. Oh, sorry. But it was nice to do something for you for a change. It's usually you saving everybody else. Oh, all right, all right. You know I can't stand hearing that kind of stuff. Credit where it's due, Wombat. I think... <coughs> what was that? Don't know and don't care. I'm going to go and check it out. You would. And good riddance. you said that before, eh? Is anything the matter? Why, look! Down there! It looks like a... Uh... Is it a... It's an egg! It's an egg! 
Oh, well, I didn't lay it. I can't lay eggs. I don't remember laying it. It wasn't me. Uh, well, if you didn't and I can't, how did it get here? Oh, it must have been me. No! <sighs> Snake! Snake! Who's going to eat my egg? Panic! Panic! Help! Snake! What's this about an egg? He laid an egg. An egg? Are you sure it's an egg? Sure, we're sure. Oh, we know an emu egg when we see one. Oh, in that case, congratulations. Oh, thanks, Zara. Yep, and thanks for scaring off the snake. Oh, it was my pleasure. I'll go and tell Benny and Boom Boom. They'll want to hear about this. You do that. Bye, Zara. Why did he congratulate us? Oh, because he's a very nice Brumby. Perhaps having an egg is something to celebrate. Oh, perhaps it is. We must spread the news. Oh, what about the egg? Who's going to look after it? We can't both go. Oh, we can't. Perhaps the egg is not a good idea after all. It must be. Thara congratulated us. Yes, it must be. I'll stay. I'll go then. Right. You laid an egg, E? Congratulations. That's marvellous. Oh, yes. Congratulations, E. Oh, we're so happy for you, E. Just imagine that. An egg. Um, what exactly is an egg? An egg? You mean to say that you don't know what an egg is? Oh, well, I once heard Wombat say that Arrow is an egghead. <laughs> egghead? <laughs> Egghead! Arrow is an egghead! <laughs> e? Ooh. Ooh. Back to the question, E. Question? Uh, yes, um, an egg is what babies hatch out of. Off to spread the news! Exciting, exceptional, exhilarating news! <laughs> I think that's the question all of us have been afraid to ask, Boon Boon. I wouldn't mind giving it a shake. I suspect that egg could be a fake. Maybe we should just leave it as the emus see it. But if we just knew someone who had actually seen an emu egg, someone who'd been down to the plains recently... Yes, but who? Hi, guys! <laughs> What's up? Arrow. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> So, Arrow, what do you think? What do I think? Well, now I can quite positively say without any shadow of a doubt... Mm. I can quite positively say without any shadow of a doubt that this is most definitely an emu egg. Hooray! Hooray! I knew it all along. What makes you so sure, Arrow? Saw lots of them down on the plains, lots of emus and lots of emu eggs. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. What's going on down there? Hmm. Cozy little bunch, I must say. That's a relief. Now we can rest. And now it's time to head back to my nest. <laughs> Bye, Mopo. Well, I'm glad to be of service. I'm off too. I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Ah. Here comes that silly old mopoke. Hey, mopoke. What was going on back there? Why the gathering of the clan? I really don't know why you should care. But in any case, it's none of your affair. Oh, come on now. You can tell me. If it's a secret, I can keep it. <laughs> 
<laughs> now that's a lie. Everyone knows you're the Brawler's spy. Oh, all right then. If that's the way you want it. <laughs> That'll teach you, you old mud scrubber. Phew. Soft landing. My luck was in. I bounced off something soft. Your head, Arrow. <laughs> what do you mean? You're an egghead, Arrow. <laughs> you're a... Why, you're the sweetest Arrow. My old friend. <laughs> now tell me, what was the gathering about? You know I like to know what's cooking in the high country. That gathering had nothing to do with you, Karawong. It's the emu's personal business. Now, just a minute. You owe me. I pulled those echidna quills from your posterior, remember? I just saved your life, remember? We're even. If you think echidna quills hurt, you ain't felt nothing yet. <laughs> All right, Arrow, what's it to be? OK, OK. I'll talk. So what was the gathering about? One of the emus laid an egg. I saw it with my own two eyes! Emus laid an egg? <laughs> this I've got to see. What do you think it'll be, Mew? A boy or a girl? Ooh! Haven't even thought about it. Exciting, isn't it? Hmm. The mighty Brolga's not too happy with me at the moment. Bet it would cheer him up if I brought him a souvenir. <laughs> hey! Stop! Thief! Uh, oh, oh! Must be twins. Oh, come back with my egg, you thieving! No good for nothing! Uh, oh! What you looking at? Oh. Mew, Mew, what's going on? Oh, that no good Karawong just broke our egg. Oh, no. Yes, but just look at what was inside it, a solid gold yolk. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. Oh, a solid gold yolk. Ooh. Hey, 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 I laid a golden egg. Yes, eh? so you did. That's much better than an ordinary old egg. Everybody should know about this, the dingoes and the wombats. Yep, and everybody else. Let's go! Uh, but, uh... Listen, everybody, I laid a golden egg. Don't worry, Benny, let them go. But this never was an egg, Thara. It's a geological freak. It's a gold nugget. OK, but there's no need for the emus to know. Let them believe what they want to believe. Yes, what they don't know won't hurt them. Fair enough. But what do we do with this? Animals have no use for gold. Not even the emus. No, we haven't. But I think I know someone who has. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Time to wake up. There's nothing like a good night's sleep to work up a healthy appetite. <sighs> Aye? What's that? Stone the crows. Hey, Charlie. Have a look at this. Solid gold. Where on earth could it have come from? Silver Brumby. A gift, Grandad, from the creatures of the high country to you. A flaming miracle? <laughs> After all these years, I've got a nest egg for me old age. <laughs> so.
So most were happy. The emus thought E could lay golden eggs, and the prospector had a little something to see him through to a ripe old age. Some others had not fared so well, but the following winter would bring Thara into the strangest twist yet.